Okay, so we got BYU and Texas playing today. Um, you know, last week our defense played pretty well. Um, you know, we we kept right out of the end zone, but it really we didn't play an opponent really half as good as what BYU played. And our defense didn't look as good as BYU did. Um, BYU's defense is phenomenal. What makes their defense so good is that they really they only forced two turnovers last week. Which I mean, I guess in that looks coming every game, two turnovers is pretty good. Because uh, it, it made the difference in the end. One turnover led to a fumble return for a touchdown, which was what BYU ended up winning the game one. But I mean, it's more to me. It's more impressive when you don't force a bunch of turnovers, and you still shut down an offense. <laughs> because that means time after time, you're getting your best shot over and over again. They're not stopping themselves by making stupid passes or not being able to hold onto the ball. It means you are stopping them. You are making sure that their offense is going nowhere over and over and over again. <laughs> um, and that's what BYU did. Uh, they just they just kept shutting down Ole Miss over and over again. Now, Texas is a team who last year against teams you know right around BYU's caliber stopped themselves. And with a defense like BYU, if we start stopping ourselves. It's going to be a long day. Now, I know that was last year, um, and I know you can't put a whole lot into this game against Rice, but last year we played Rice, and this year we played Rice. We looked about five times better this year in that opening game than we did last year against Rice. So, um, you know, well, yeah, you can't put a whole lot of stock into this game, you can't, uh, you know, predict national championship or anything because we smacked Rice around. There are still some things that you can tell from this game. One is that offensively, we still, we're still struggling. So, you know, we, you know, we came around there in the second half, but for the most part, we still, I mean, especially in that first half, we still didn't really know what we were going to do. We had a big pass play, and you know, some of the guys were kind of like, oh, no, we, well, there's a big pass play, and they didn't really get a big play in the running game. What I see is they're running, they, I don't know, I don't know why they keep doing it. Um, they're running Fozzie Whitaker way too much. And not out of the shotgun. He's a great runner out of the shotgun. But that's his style. We are trying to run him downhill out of the eye hole, and that's not the kind of runner he is. If we're going to do that, we need to run Cody Johnson. <coughs> Sorry about that. And we need to run Cody Johnson. Or Malcolm Brown. I was impressed with him. He played well. Uh, but one of the things I love about having a new offensive coordinator. Because as I said before the season, when you're the same guy, year in and year out, he can sometimes get into, you know, a routine. Or he can start playing favorites. And end up playing the same guy, you know, year after year until he graduates because, you know, he just, well, oh, I like that guy playing favorites. Brian Harson said he's playing no favorites. He's playing the hot hand, bottom line. And I like that because, you know, We've got guys like John Harris coming in, who I never even heard of, coming and contributing because, you know, everyone's just getting a shot to play because it's a new coordinator, a new year. Everyone's getting a shot to play bottom line. To where, you know, these guys might not have had a shot at all if Greg Davis was still here. So that's a good thing about the offense and about our team. Um, sorry, that's a little off subject. But defensively, I think we're ready. I mean, I'll be honest with you, BYU doesn't exactly have a, you know, 
kill her off and say, oh, they're not running. They're not going down there and going for 500 yards a game. Like, I mean, we, there's been some BYU teams in recent memory that were doing that. But not this team. Um, so I think this will definitely be a defensive game. If either team gets more than three touchdowns, I'd be surprised. I think this one's going to linger around, you know, at 17 to 14 mark is what I would look for. Um, I think we're really going to see Gary Goodwork tested today. Um, you know, the running game, obviously, we've got multiple guys who contribute. We've got Foster, we've got Cody Johnson, we've got the young guy Malcolm Brown. But this is going to be where Garrett Gilbert needs to come through and say, guess what? I know I screwed up last year. I mean, obviously, I'm right there. I'm, I was so tired of everyone bad now. I mean, Garrett Gilbert, he was not the only problem last year's Texas team. Yeah, he didn't play well at all. He threw 17 interceptions, but, you know, the offensive line didn't pull out. The receivers didn't catch passes. There was a whole host of problems on last year's team, not just Gilbert. But Gilbert got blamed with the majority of it. So this is his time to come through and say, you know, last year I was not the replacement for Colt McCoy. The people thought I was going to be, you know, I didn't play well among other people. This is time for Derek Gilbert to say, you didn't make a mistake by playing me this year, by letting me start. It's how I see those, you know, was it going to be David Ash, Case McCoy, or even Connor Wood when I transferred out, but there's a full quarterback battle there for a while, and Gilbert won. And it's time for him to come through and show that he deserved that. And it's unfortunate that it has to happen so early in you know this season. But I'm sorry, it does. It's his time. He needs to come through and win for us. And last week he did a pretty good job, but you know he was 13 of 23, I believe. So. Still a little shaky back there. Um, of course, he had that little lateral thing, whatever that was. Um, then it being a turnover, but still. We need, I mean, this is just, this is our time to see what this team's made of. You know, and it's coming early in the year. Um, a lot of Texas fans, even after last year, still have so much confidence in this team. I'm one. I think this team has a lot of potential. But, we'll see. I'm, I'm very excited for this team. Uh, and we'll actually get to see it. It won't be on Longhorn Network, which a lot of people missed last week's game for those, other than, I mean, for those of us who had it. You know, we got to see the game, obviously, but uh, for some reason, you know, a lot of people were struggling to get the game in that and whatnot. So, anyway, we'll get to see this one. Get to see Texas finally tested this season. BYU looks just like a gritty, like just a gritty, nasty team, you know. They don't have any problems with me to. When in the ugly. Texas is a team who hasn't had to win ugly in a long time. So. For the horns. I think Texas has the ability to win this one. It's just being a, it's being a homer, I guess, but I think we're going to win. For the horns.